Keith is already touching on some of the other stuff. Now, <clears throat> this witchcraft is controlled down here and spoken words over your body out of the past. Some of you got spoken words that go all the way back to when you were just a little child spoken by people that had authority over you. And those curses are still hanging over you today. And one of the things that it'll do, it'll destroy your health. For those that had authority over you, speak words over you that are actually curses, like saying you'll never amount to anything. Uh, some would say you'll never be healthy. These are lies, but they have a power in the spoken word. And one of the things that he said he was doing with several of you, how many of you recently, just raise your hand, have been dizzy, feeling a dizziness come on you? Well, what he was saying today, this is nothing but witchcraft and the power of the spoken word over your lives. Others have had control spirits spoke over you by people you trust. And one of the strongest things going on that is so bad up here is there's more divining and there is prophecy. There's so much divining up here that's coming out of the soul instead of the spirit that so few people would even believe true prophecy anymore because of this divining spirit. So every one of you that's had this control over you, that's had this spirit of heaviness over your chest, and this is the way it feels, or you just feel dizzy at times, especially when something spiritual is really going on. This is the thief and the robber that's been coming at you. Also, these speak, spoken words have an ability to affect this thing up here that controls the natural health of your body. So in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I break these spoken words over my brothers and sisters. I break these spoken words over the body of Christ. Some of you just take a deep breath. For it's, it's a time of liberty. Where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. Where the Holy Spirit is God, there is liberty. So what the enemy's been trying to do is keep you from recognizing who the real God down here is. It's the Holy Spirit. And he's the only one who can present you to Christ. He's the one that's led you to salvation. And what he's saying tonight, I want you free. I want the only person that's controlling your life in any way will be me, and I'm growing you up to where you'll look like Jesus. So let this deadness that's been coming at them, that's been coming to their soul, I break every spoken word that's ever been spoken to them. I break every curse that's ever been spoken over their life. <clears throat> but what they're trying, what the enemy's been doing is cursing the body of Christ and keeping them weak to where they couldn't hear the things that God wants them to do. And God wants to bless. He's not cursing. He's going to bless his body and especially his son's body. And this night, we bless the body of Christ with a new liberty and a new freedom and a new ability to let the Holy Spirit then begin to direct and motivate their lives. In Jesus' name. Now, some of you that it's had some pretty bad headaches. Just keep it up. Take some deep breath. But that's what's been coming at you. This thing stirs the mind up. It makes you dizzy. It distracts you. And it'll really try to kill you if you're driving. So let the mind be free. So we can have the peace of God. And a new security. Good. Good. <laughs> 